If you've already learned the basics of crocheting with beads and wanted to tackle a larger project like this, you may have run into the problem of having to string a large number of beads. In this video, I will show you how to deal with it gracefully. Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniela and today I will show you how to string beads on thread if you want to make a bigger bead crochet project. I will show you an example of this uh, bracelet I'm working on right now. But before we get started, I would also like to invite you to check my Instagram, where you can find a lot of stuff you are not gonna see here on YouTube. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on, so I can shoot more tutorials for you. Okay, so I'm working on this bracelet, which has a quite large diameter. There are 24 beads in one row. I'm using Japanese Toho treasure beads. They are size 11, but it's not important right now. I'm just mentioning it out of interest. I want the bracelet to be 19 centimeters long. Uh, so I multiply the length of the bracelet 19 centimeters by the number of beads in one row. So 24. 19 times 24 is 456 centimeters. So I need to string approximately 456 centimeters of beads. That's a lot of beads just for a bracelet. I'm comfortable working with about two meters of string at a time. So I simply put on a length that I'm comfortable working with. I crochet all the beads into the crochet rope. When I run out of beads, I simply cut a thread and string more beads. So now I have the length uh, I'm comfortable with. I just pull a loop of a new thread into the loop of an old thread. And I continue to crochet like uh, the new thread was the old one. I crochet a few beads, then make a knot from the two ends of the thread. And cut them off. And continue crocheting. Keep the knot inside the rope. No joint will be visible, uh, no one will know uh, you've added a new thread. Just watch out for one thing, and that is if you are stringing a pattern, uh, like I did with this rope. I have this stripe pattern. I string the beads according to the uh, bead list from top to bottom and left to right, but then crochet the other way around, right to left and bottom to top. It's always easier to string a complete repeat of a pattern and then add a new thread. But this is not always possible, especially with very long complicated patterns. Uh, in this case, it is a good idea to note in the pattern where we left off. Uh, here in my simple stripe pattern, I will show you how to proceed if I only string a part of the pattern. Note that you always crochet from the bottom up and from right to left. Uh, so we crochet two blue beads, two green beads, two gold beads, and we are done here. We are out of beads. So we are gonna make a mark in the pattern here. String from uh, top to bottom and left to right. So we string two gold, two cream, and we have to end with two gray beads to get the pattern to work properly. Of course, if we have a pattern this short, I will string lots of complete repeats of the pattern beforehand and just end with the, these two blue beads. It will look similar with such a complex pattern. Uh, let's say I don't want to repeat the pattern on the thread all at once, but I will divide it into three parts. Again, follow the rule that you thread from top to bottom and left to right. And crochet from bottom to top and right to left. Uh, so start stringing three yellow, one brown, two dark blue and so on, all the way to the end. And then we crochet it. We end with these uh, 155 black beads. So we are going to start crocheting uh, the 155 black beads for dark blue beads and so on until we get to the three yellow beads. And this is where we run out of beads. String the second part so 11 light blue, 3 medium blue, 1 dark blue and so on. 
when we get to one dark blue. Here we stop stringing and start crocheting. Crochet one dark blue and so on until you get back to 11 light blue. Now let's put on the last part on, start with 141 black beads and so on up to 2 medium blue beads and crochet back again, starting with uh, 2 medium blue beads and working up to 141 black beads. I hope you understand how I'm explaining uh, it here and you will have no problem threading such complex and possibly even more complex patterns. So that's all for today. I hope I helped you if you didn't know how to deal with such long patterns. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about it. Don't forget to subscribe for new videos and I will see you next time. Bye!